George, clearly a disappointing result on Friday night. So what are your thoughts looking back on that one? Yeah, it's disappointing. You don't want to lose a, a Gloucester Bath derby and, and we'd had a, a lot of emotion around that in the week. And obviously, you know, with a few results lately, we wanted to make a, a mark in that game. Um, but look, in the end, you know, our set piece wasn't good enough and Bath targeted that area and they came strong in that area. And, you know, from that point of view, they got on top and, you know, we've uh, pride ourselves on our set piece and had a lot of results from that in the last two years. And, um, you know, that's a, a rare game that we got outdone there. And unfortunately, we didn't recover from it. And that led to penalties and that led to pressure. And, you know, if you've got that much pressure on your line in the second half, it's, it's very hard to hold it out. So, um, you know, I thought the boys did some really good stuff in attack, played some very good rugby. They, they were committed to what they were trying to do. They worked, they worked extremely hard. Um, Bath just got the better of us and in that area and that's um, in the Premiership, that area is massive. And how have the boys reacted to that this week? I imagine they'll be keen to put that right this weekend. Yeah, it's a bit of a shot to the ego, I think, for the forwards particularly because, you know, we have been very strong in that area and, um, you know, Trevor's done a great job at the scrum and, and our scrum is is top of the charts across the board and that's um, that's the first game we, we've seen our scrum struggle and, um, you know, we put a lot of work into it. So, like I say, from a forwards point of view, there's a bit of a shot to the ego. Um, but, yeah, look, you know, it's something we can focus on, work hard. Like I say, I think the boys, they threw themselves into it there was no um, there was no lack of that for sure and they did some really really good stuff arguably some of our best attack in in the season so um, you know there's some positives to be taken but ultimately yeah boys we all came in Monday and very very disappointed with uh, with how the game went but I think there was a, a clear area we fell short and obviously they don't get any easier with Sale coming to King's home this week. So what are the sort of areas that they'll challenge challenge us? Yeah, I mean, look, Sale, are, you know, they're, they're second in the league for a reason. They've had an outstanding season. Um, you know, they've got strength across the board. They've got big men. You know, got George Ford coming back in. So, um, you know, they're, they're peaking at the right time. They've got all, all their players out there, all their best players. And, you know, they look really good against Bristol on Friday night. So it's a massive challenge, um, you know, and, and again, it's, uh, there'll be challenges in every area of this game but uh, it's exciting for us you know like I say I think we're um, a bit wounded by Friday night so we'll work hard this week and get ready yeah and obviously rugby players they enjoy those those tough games don't they and, and we have seen from Gloucester as well this season that some of the bigger games have been some of the closer games probably just from emotion yeah definitely and, and look adversity is a part of sport and sometimes things don't go your way and sometimes you work really hard on something and that starts pushing and, and something else lets you down and um, you know we've had a fair bit of that the last few weeks but you've got to keep moving forward you've got to keep trying to get better and, and the boys are brilliant at that you know they don't mope around they're not feeling sorry for themselves you can clearly see that let's say there's some wounded egos but it's all about focusing on how we can be better what can we do in in this short turnaround to you know to make sure we're on it for sale so um you know the boys are being brilliant they're working hard but yeah like i say it's uh, it's important we front up on saturday and a capacity king's home last time out obviously the final king's home game of the 2022 23 season this weekend so motivated to go out with a bang yeah absolutely and and again the, the atmosphere was awesome on friday night phenomenal you know and uh, there, there was some uh, screaming and shouting with a couple of minutes to go that was you know raising the rooftop if we had one so it's brilliant and i think like you say last game of the season at king's home really really important hopefully we get as many numbers through the door as, as last weekend and um you know the boys will get excited about that and obviously a special moment for one of uh, Gloucester Rugby's uh, most loyal servants, Ben Morgan, being able to run the team out with his family on Friday night. That was a special moment and, and he's been a real asset to the team, hasn't he? Yeah, that's a really nice moment and, and Morgan has been here a long time and played a lot of rugby for Gloucester and, and I think it's really great that uh, he got to go out first and with his family and acknowledge that and that's no doubt something they'll remember forever. And obviously it's been announced that Billy Twelve Trees as well will be leaving the team at the end of the season. So how much of a miss will he be and, and what are your wishes for him in the future? Yeah, look, you know, Billy's such a quality individual as a bloke and a rugby player and, and the standards he sets, you know, in day to day. And, um, you know, I've known Billy personally a long time and I've got all the time in the world for him. And I think, uh, you know, I think he's been outstanding uh, this back end of the season and um, Bordeaux games and, and times we've asked him to step up and, um, you know, me and him have had loads of interesting chats since I've been here, you know, good and bad. And, you know, he's, he's turned up every single training day. You know, like I say, he's a, a top, top character and um, he'll be sorely missed. But, um, you know, from, from my point of view, I, I can't say enough good stuff about Bill. And it'll be good to give them a good send off on, on Saturday Saturday evening, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think those those two guys, particularly their last games at Kingsome, um, you know, they're going to be excited. They're going to be pumped up and uh, 
you know they've they've given a lot for everybody to, who who comes to the games and and they've given those to a lot over the years as well. So um, you know from that point of view, it's it, it'll be a nice send off for them.